Hey everybody, welcome back to another Bell Series video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, but I figured to show you some matches between Tempo Storm and Omen Elite. For those of you who don't know, I there's a lot of there's been a lot of mix up mix ups in the NA Pro scene, and pretty much just how it all ended out ended up being was just like me playing with Five and OG on Tempo Storm. A lot of you guys might probably know that, but for those of you who don't, Five and OG are my teammates now. I'm no longer with the Snacks and Squash and Zar. But anyways, for you to hop on in the video. It's some OP games here from the ESL NA Open. It's pretty much like a smaller tournament that ESL puts on. I think first place is like $150. And yeah, it's pretty good games. Went to five series. It's going to be a pretty long video, I think. I'm probably going to cut a game or two out here and there. So probably only going to show two games of map. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Fans are Sprout and Jackie, as you can see below me. And uh, yeah, let's just jump on into it. Alright, so the first map was uh, Nuts and Bolts Siege. And we decided to go with uh, Gene, Frank, Barley Comp. We're all pretty comfortable with those brawlers. I love playing Frank and they kind of went the same thing, so we just NA men at the moment. It's like Gene Barley, usually like a PV or Frank. And I know Super Sai likes playing Frank, I like playing Frank, so that's where we punch win. So we, we do. Let's fight up one to one right there. OG gets another one, so it's the bot looking. It's looking like a tie at this point because they picked up that one. And their first bot is pretty much usually a tie. Actually, we end up winning that unless you can. Oh, you're, unless you're able to stall off that. Then picking up the fourth bolt once you get the first two, and that's what we did right there. And so we get the first bot. On the left side there, Bobby has a nice pull super Sai. I just pretty much help him out and get the kill. And when playing Frank, especially in Siege, like, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of opportunities for you to use your gadget, right? Like, you can use it on the Barley gadget, walk through it fast, or you can use it on the Gene pull, or use it on the Frank. And what I like to do with Frank is I like to always be pretty conservative with my gadgets, so I really don't ever use a gadget unless I really need to. Like, if you know you're going to die, there's not really a point using gadget. You see Bobby has a nice pull on the Barley right there. This is looking pretty good for us so far. Super Sai misses a super. We complete control the right side and we're working on the left at this point. Got a pretty good bolt lead. We're getting these bolts. Zulon has pull, but he can't pull me because I have gadgets. See, Bobby pulled a super side right there. It's not a total loss because every time Bobby pulls super side, he loses gadget. And eventually, I'll have more gadgets left than he will. And then if you have gadgets and the other Frank doesn't, it's pretty much just a free, it's a free win. Like, they can't do anything. OG gets a nice super on the safe right there. Zulon has the pull though, so we're not able to go in. We're just kind of just holding control. In passive, OG gets the kill on the right there. At this point, we're looking pretty good. We got full control. We're only down by three bolts. Bobby has his pull all. See, Super Saiyan wastes his, his gadget right there. And see, what me and Bobby like to do on Gene and Frank is when he, when we get the Frank to use the gadget, the other person supers them. Because you, you only gadget one super, you can't gadget both, right? And so, me and Bobby have pretty good team chemistry, so we've been working on that a little. Bobby does miss the pull right there, but it should not matter as we're up by 65% and we got the bolt lead. Get the final bot now. At this point, it's GG. And this is a long video. I'm probably just going to cut to the end of the game at this point. Alright, so we were pick up the dub right there. Hop on into the next game here in a bit. We're hopping into the next game on the Siege map. It's the best of three on each map. Best of five total maps. So they decided to switch it up and go with Sandy. So you see, I kind of went for the bot right there. Probably a little too aggressive. I do manage to just take it out, but we do kind of feed super, so Bobby goes down too, I go down too, so we didn't really play that too well, we didn't really communicate that well, I don't know, we just, after we, lost, after we won that first one, we were pretty confident, we were just kind of joking around, I believe in VC. These games were from last Tuesday, and I believe it's now Sunday for me, so uh, I kind of was slacking, didn't really get get on recording that quickly, but if you remember correctly, that's kind of what happened, but they did the first spot. So he's got to defend. Barley and Frank are pretty undefense. Also the gene pull. But you don't really gene pull the first few bots because you need that gene pull to take back control. Because if you get a kill, it's 3v2. So let's just come up. But if it's 3v3, it's hard to like, they're able to cover more of the map. See, so Bobby gets a nice pull. Karai. It's a lot OG to move up. I think he gets pulled by Zulon. So nice play by Zulon right there. We walk up. Super, super Sai. Super's me. And I'm pretty sure I go down here. Actually, I get a nice kill on him. I do believe Karai walks up takes me out. Yeah, I probably got too greedy right there. I went for that last whack on Super Sai. I probably should when Kurai was coming up. Even though I did win the matchup, his teammates helped him out. It's a little unlucky right there. Got a little too greedy, but they do get the next spot, and I'm not looking too hot as we went by two. OG does get taken out right there, so this game's kind of looking not the greatest. Zulon pulls me right there. I do use a gadget to stay alive because if I went down right there, like I'm pretty much the biggest defender on our team. So we do get to get the ball right there. We are down by 80 some percent and they got full control. And they also have the Sandy Super, so 
What Sandy allows them to do is they can hold control for a longer period of time. I do get the stun on Kodai right there, but Super Psychic Quells up help him out. I think he gets the gadget off too, so yeah, he's full health, and we're, we're up by a few bolts here, but I, do, I think we tie, because see those three right there, there's three, they all have three right there, they all return those, and we weren't allowed to pick up anymore, so that's pretty much the game at that point. So I'm probably not going to show the next Seeds game, we do lose it again. It's going to be a really long video, because it's a 15 game series, so... Do, we do kind of mess up Siege. I thought we'd win that. We're actually pretty good Siege, but we do lose that. And uh, yeah, I'll hop on to the next set here in a bit. Alright, so hopping into the next map here, it is Heist. And if you guys didn't understand what I said earlier, I basically just skipped... I skipped the third Siege game. We did lose it. But it's going to be a really long series, so... Spoiler alert, I guess, but yeah. So we decided to go with the M's Brock BB comp here. We're pretty confident in it. Um... Looking back, I mean, we wouldn't have played Brock, but OG likes to Brock, he's pretty good at he Brock height and heist, and also gave the wall break, allows M to hit the safe pretty, a lot easier, so yeah, it was not a bad cop, and Brock kind of counters Rico, so it's not the end of the world for us. Okay, moving up here, once you get super with M's, this kind of allows you to get a lot more control, because they can't get close to you anymore, even if you don't have it, even if you don't pop it, like, just like the threat of you having it, they don't, they're pretty much afraid to come to you. We do kind of control, I think Bobby does lose the BB1v1, oh, I help him out. Gets that OG breaks mid wall, so looking pretty good for us. We got full control, we're doing the damage. Super Sai is just kind of poking us. He just hits me with a full clip of Max, and I do go down. Bobby hits the bubble off to stop his healing. So we, but OG is kind of pe uh, poking the safe, like right there. He has the incendiary star power, which adds extra damage every shot. And since that wall's open up, you can see with M's and Brock, we need to pretty much just keep poking it. And we're already up by 50%, so once you're up by a lot of in Siege, Unless you get, unless you get, lose full control and they just come down and smack you, it's really hard to lose the game. So Kurai does super the safe right there, but my team's moving up. I got the super on Kurai, so we take him out right there. And while we were doing that, OG was just poking the safe the entire time, so it is down low, pretty good. I do believe I gadget Zulan here. Oh, Zulan does take me out. I probably should have gadget right there. Um, it allows full control a lot better, but I do go down. It's not in the world because we're still, we're still pilot. OG still just poking the safe. It's like five percent a shot. Pissed wall right there, but it doesn't really matter that much. Because we're pretty much just got a whole control. Anyways. Do you think I go down right here? Maybe I stay up with the M's. Nah, I waste my super right there. It's about who at me. I should have never supered that. But I figured I had the hype star power, so maybe I stay alive, but it's play by me. Probably just trying to keep Zulon back here. At this point, they haven't they've barely done any damage. We're up by like 60%. So it's really hard for us at this point, so we just gotta. Also, we just don't like choke pretty hard. We got it. We just get a nice bubble on core right there. OG's on the safe, so it should be a dub here for us, for us for sure. And uh, yeah, pretty well, well played game by us. We didn't really ever lose control. And OG was just poking the safe the entire game. And uh, yeah, won the first heist game right there. All right, hopping to the next heist game. This has switched to M's. We switched to Daryl and Max. Probably not the greatest decision by us. We should have just stuck with the BB. Was working with us before. I don't really know what we were thinking. It's as I said, we recorded this like almost a week ago, so not the greatest decision making by us. And it's gonna come back to bite us. So I get the BB on my lane. Max versus BB actually, I actually like this matchup a lot because you can use the max gadgets through the BB knockback, and it's pretty much a free kill the majority of the time. Bobby does have the jump over the wall for Zulon. Zulon loses his shield, and who believe I do get the kill with Super Sai almost. Super Sai takes me out, and. Bobby is holding a super. He can't really roll on the M's because if he rolls, he's just going to get gadgeted away. Like that. And he's kind of taking out the M's. We do kind of get the pinch off there. I get, the, I think I get the kill on Superside here. And... Yeah, so I get the kill on Superside there, right? So I'm just going to go on the safe because it's 2v2. So I figured they'd be able to defend. But looking back on it, maybe I should come back and help. But I don't know. I thought they'd defend better. But you see, if you look at the percents at the top, at the top of the screen, I'm, we're both doing less damage to the safe. I do believe we come out on down below. And OG gets a nice tap right there. We are down by a decent amount of percent, but I did a lot, and I get the speed on Bobby, so we got control here now. So it's not the end of the world for us. We just gotta pick it up a little. Gonna super in there. I get the kill on Super Sai. I don't know. I probably should, probably should play more passive. We were down by a lot. Once you're down a lot in Heist, Heist doesn't really have a built in comeback mechanic, so once you're down by a lot, it's better to just hold control. And just poke out the safe one by one and not just like go all in and do a little percent then still be even then give them control you know so 
we're kind of on the back end of defense here. I do kind of get pinched by the Max and the M's like that. And they got control. We're down. We're already losing. Bobby rolls in on Zulon like that. Just kind of trying to get a kill on defense. OG goes down. He almost takes out the M's. I did not really. And uh, yeah, we kind of get control again. They're kind of low health. And it's 2v2. They're backing off. Bobby gets a nice roll on the M's right there. It's super silo, but with the super. Speed up Bobby. It's a nice roll on the, on the BB right there. Whereas now we got control. 20 seconds left, so we gotta do the damage quickly. So we're gonna play pretty aggressive. Get the kill on Super Saiyan right there. OG poke on the safe. And I think I'm out of gadgets, so I can't gadget away from Zulon right there. We're down by a few percent. Bobby has to roll in. Last ditch effort. We don't get it. We do end up losing that siege game right there. And spoiler, but we do lose the next heist game. I'm probably not gonna show it. Because we don't have that much time. Alright, so I'll be in the next map here. We are down 2 0 in sets, so it's do or, I, do or die for us here. And Bobby's playing his signature Mortis. Bobby's a big fan of the Mortis lately. And I'm on the rock, but OG's on the Piper. So, do a nice tap on Koi Rai right there. And what Bobby's trying to do, he's trying to bait out the gadgets because it's Mortis. You can't really go in on them because they just gadget away like Zulon just did right there. Me and OG get the nice pinch on Syra like that. And it's looking pretty pretty okay for us. I get for go aggressive on Korai, and I do go down. I thought I'd live. I still killed him and broke the wall, so it's not a total loss. But since I was playing aggressive, I probably should have probably should have been a little more passive or lived. Because I pretty much just fed Korai super right there. And those those little penguins or chickens, whatever you want to call them, they're very annoying. Probably my least favorite part in the game. And Cry's playing aggressive on me, but there's a, there's a, I was gonna jump on him right there, but there's a penguin coming up, and penguin always beats me it seems. Do nice taps on Cry right there. I jump and take him out. It's looking pretty good at this point. I think Bobby got the kill on the block as well, but Bobby won't take attack that penguin, and he makes OG do it. He he really refused to attack it, so they kind of get the walk up and take all the gems in mid. On this map, when it's Piper v Piper, you, there's always a lot of gems that spawn in mid because everyone's too afraid to walk up and take them. So probably a misplay, but as we kind of we gotta communicate that better. So I do get aggressive on Karai. Places down his porter to stay alive. I don't know if that's the right player or not because I doesn't have one anymore because I had the incendiary. But he does keep control of his lane. It's not a total loss. Get a nice tap on Karai right there. Hits I almost I missed a shot on Karai right there. If I took if I hit that shot, I don't know. It probably would have been a different game, honestly. I ch choked a little. Bobby does go on the Brock right there. That he gets kind of taken two v one. Just trying to do my job. Take out the, we got the Mr. P. We got Zulon right there. And but side jumps and those we would have had two gems right there if I was able to hit that shot and kill Karai. So we still be playing. I don't know. It's a close game. I don't think Morris is really the right pick. We didn't Bobby didn't play that correctly. Never really went in and got the team wipe. It's a little unlucky, but we do lose up this game. Now we're put on match point again, and we gotta win the next game or else we lose. Alright, so hopping into the next game here. We do decide to switch it up and go with the cop they ran. We free just we just mirror them and try to outskill them. Actually they switch up to the Rosa, so you see Kurai plants. Plants the bushes on his lane like that. And what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to get my super. Same thing with those we're just trying to get our supers so they can break all the grass. Because if, the, if Rosa doesn't have any walls or grass, it's pretty much just like a free a free lane win. And you see now I got control me OG help pinch over, so. We do got control here, and I'm just trying to find it. Forgot the Piper. I do get the double tap on the Rosa right there. I have my super, so I'm just gonna jump away, stay alive. Don't want to get, don't want to let Rosa get control. He has placed the bush. I, I super that breaks some walls and all the grass. So, and I'm really close to my super. I guess I had a few rocks to my super, and I double tapped him right there. Hope he does go down to Brock, but Brock versus Mr. P. It's a hard, it's a hard matchup. Uh, Brock's Brock counters Mr. P until you get your super, and then I think Mr. P wins the matchup. But I do break down more walls, and now he's out of grass. He already used all three gadgets, so it's looking pretty good on my lane. I always just play aggressive because if he goes on the left, Piper and Brock are pinching him, so he places his porter. Tank a little. I do get the kill on Zulon there, so nice about Bobby. You see me and OG, we killed the Rosa. So I just break in the grass because once you break all their grass, it's hard for them to like get control again because you, you'll be able to see them coming. Rosa does take down the porter right there, and you see they switch lanes. I think it's a good play by them. Because once Kurai was out of grass and walls on the right side, he had to switch over. But OG does have super, so he could walk up and break them. See me, I'm just kind of wiggling the shots from Zulon. I hit Piper. Piper's one shot right now, but the, you see the Rosa's behind. So OG can't really go up because he has to help Bobby on the Rosa. 
It's a little unlucky right there. I'm just walking up hold control. I hit super I hit super side once. He's very low. He got hit by my uh water or fire. It's fire freely, but water on this skin, I guess. And Lil takes me out, he's one shot. Kinda wastes a super right there. And uh yeah, OG's doing a good job. Keeping side back so we can't pick up those gems. Just get tapped. Bobby takes down the Rosa. And I hit the Zulon. I believe I take him out of the super. He jumps away, but we're able to pick up the gems. Because they head behind the uh, penguin. And we do end up winning this game. I think we've all played pretty well. I don't think their comp was the greatest. And yeah, we were it was do or die. So we lost this game. We lost the entire thing. We do end up winning pretty pretty annually. And uh, yeah, let's jump on to the next game. Alright, so hopping into the next game here on the same map. We do lose this game, we also lose the entire series, so we had to really pick it up here. We went in the same comps, we feel like that went pretty good, and they went to the comp they originally is, so. <clears throat> you see Kurai goes that little the corner, I know he can't dodge my shots, because Brock shots take up two tiles, basically, so I just kind of spammed all three, took him out. And what I'm just trying to do, I'm not trying to give Mr. P super, because once Mr. P gets super, it's uh, very annoying. I hate it. Uh, and you see, as I said earlier, see all the gems spawning in mid. No one can really pick those up because the Pipers, they're all kind of dealing. I just super the grass up there to not let them get control. Bobby is getting pinched by uh, Zulon and Sai, so he has to back up. Super does miss him though, he does stay alive. And there's, I think there's six gems in the middle, about to be seven. So we know that like it's going to be a big play. Whoever pretty much just wins this skirmish right here is going to win the game because seven gems is a lot. We do hit Sai right there, so they're weak, they can't go in. And I'm also weak though, so me and uh, me and Bobby go down, but since they're all weak, OG's able to walk up, and they can't really peek him, they'll die, so nice play by OG, he walks up, picks up most of the gems, and supers away, so we're feeling pretty good at this point, pretty much just tied with a 4 gem lead, and I get the super, I was trying to break that wall to kill Karai, I think I choked the shots to get killed, but not the end of the world, he's weak and has to back up, I'll be staying up, um, Zulon is using the fourth rocket. I use, I'm using Cinder. I think Cinder is better for Mr. P. But Zulon does a super the porter and just take him out. So you see Korai hit up a little. So don't don't take him out. I do hit Sai though, so he's weak. So once a Brock shot and a Piper shot will kill Piper. So if one of us hits the Piper, he has to hide back. Oh, just a nice tap on Sai right there. He's one gem away. Bobby picks it up. I do think no, they can't die. We, but we do. I think we get the wipe here. Maybe maybe I choke. I, okay, I yeah I choke. And we win the game though. They can't tie because Bobby took another jam on the corner. It's 11 to 7, I think. So, yeah, we do want to win this game. Take the, we force it to the fourth map after almost getting swept. So, nice comeback from us. And uh, yeah, let's jump on to the next game. Alright, so up to the next map. It is Raw Ball. Uh, we went the mirror comp. This is pretty much the meta comp. You can also run B. Or you can run some like wacky, like Poco double tank comps. But this is pretty much what the meta is in NA, at least. And we do, we do actually lose the first game on this map, but I'm not going to show it because. This video is already like 20 minutes or something. We'll see in the in the edit once I get it down. But we do this is is this is match point. We did lose the first game. So it's do or die here for us. And yeah, we actually start out pretty good. Once you get first control of this map, you can't really score yet because you gotta break the walls. So Jake gets a nice jump right there. Bobby does miss the goal. Little 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 misplay, but it's not that big of a deal. We still have control. And well, there goes the control. And they do have both supers, so they're pretty much going to walk up and break the walls. Don't want to worry about the ball. You see, they're both super, they break all the walls. And I kind of, I try to make the aggressive play, but if I stayed alive for like a second, I would pretty much have killed somebody. But I, I didn't get my gadget off in time, I don't think. So they go for the super shot, but I respawn. They would have pick it up. But he does get the kill on the super side right there, and they got to back up because they're both weak, and it's 3v2. This map is pretty much always a stalemate because it's so long range, I'll just still play passive. Bobby does get the nice super right there, and we take out the Piper, and it should be a goal right here. We get the wipe, so yeah, nice goal by us. I'll pull a nothing, a minute, minute left. <clears throat> they do have the Pam turret up behind the wall. That's a pretty good Pam turret spot. Unless you have a Brock super, like, it's hard to kill the Pam because the Pam is going to keep healing up. There's nothing you can do. I'm playing aggressive on them because I know pretty much to make a play because if we're going to sit in this mid, like this, it's just gonna be a stalemate. This is to get the Pam turret up, and we don't, they're gonna win it. So we do end up losing it anyways, but I was pretty much going for my Pam turret. I get it, and I place it behind the wall, and now we can go to work. I get taken out. I think, I do believe they score here, unless Bobby supers away. I still think they score here because 
but we really got no control, so. If I remember correctly, we'll see here. But they, Bobby and OG get the nice taps on the Pam, but we don't get the kill because Pam's in the turret and you got the gadget. Pam's really hard to kill. Bobby does get a nice kill on Zulon right there, and they, do, they don't have the scoring, I guess. I guess I was wrong. Now, yeah, me and Korai going at Pam 1v1. I get my turret, but OG's helping me, so it's pretty much going to win it either way. And yeah, 10 seconds left. They shouldn't score. Should corner it. Pretty, pretty good defense by us. A few misplays by me. Maybe I feel like I'm a little too aggressive with Pam, but sometimes you, get, you gotta be because Pam get outranged. But anyways, we win the game, and it'll hop into the third game of Brawl Ball. Alright, let's hop into the third game here. This is match point for us again. And the same comps as always. It's pretty much the meta in an A on this map is. Can we run anything else? You can run B, but other than that, not really anything else you can run. So we do kind of pinch them over the right side. Bobby's hitting shots, I'm hitting shots, and they're all both weak, but Bobby goes down, so that kind of hinders us. I do give a kill here on Zulon, but I do believe Suai takes me out, so yeah, we get taken out. OG does get a kill on Sai though, so it's stalemate. What OG's trying to do here is trying to get a super and jump back and break the walls. And it'll pretty much be, just be a win for us. See, so yeah, he gets a super, breaks the walls, and see how he broke the mid walls and the back walls. So really nice break by OG. Bobby does break the walls, he goes for the jump. That's an amazing play by Bobby. We all we all have been up in VC after that one. So really good play by him. And you see, I got my turret and placed behind the wall like this. And now we're pretty much gonna keep control because they can't kill me because of that turret. And they don't have one. But they do charge it up. I do believe he plays it right there, which is not that good because OG can take it out, I think. He misses one shot. He does take it out though. And Korai has no turret and I have my turret, so I can win that no matter what. He has another one though. I do believe OG takes it out again. She's kinda struggling, but it's okay. He has to worry about the side too, so he can't get too close. But they're all kind of they're kind of gaining up on me, but I got that turret, so they can't kill me. Bobby and Zulon are dueling on, on their side too. Gets another turret, but she's kind of trying to take it out. And yeah, Bobby gets a nice kill on Super Sorry. There he gets a kill on Zulon, so Bobby kind of carried that. And we do super that, and he got Bobby got the, the double kill right there and the the gadget score. So really good game for Bobby. I know I got star, but all right, so hopping into the fifth and final map of the series. And we decided to go with Poco Double Tank, which we're not the greatest at. I don't think we re really got to practice that a little. And we do get the first star. And Bobby's on one side, me and G on the other. Uh, Jackie was banned. We really, we really like playing Jackie and when we go Poco Double Tank. But it was banned, so we couldn't really do that. And you see Bobby's going in for the kills on Piper right there. He's just trying to get his super. And OG heals him up a little. We're pretty much just waiting for supers because they're all three grouped up, so we can't really go in. Once you get supers, we'll try to go in, and I do believe we kind of miscommunicate, and Bobby says go in, but like, I go in really quickly, he goes in slowly, see, I think we communicate to go in, and they all pretty much turn around and focus on me, and Bobby and OG did go in, even though we were all in VC, and we said to go in, but we, I guess we need to communicate that better. Bobby does go in eventually, and he does go down, while OG went back, so we were pretty much just like, when you're playing Pogo Double Tank, you really gotta communicate, and you gotta work as a team, and we're not doing that, so we're getting smacked. And Bobby does miss the bubble right there. It's a little, a little unlucky on that. It's not looking too good for us. Well, we're, pretty, we're poking up a tank though. It's never, you're never out of it because you can pretty much get a team wipe pretty easily. And that's like, in this case, that's like, like at least eight stars. So it's hard to go down by eight stars. You see, we do communicate to go in again. I go in. OG's kind of lagging behind. We don't, we don't really all go in together again. And OG gets, I mean, Bobby is taken out, and me and OG have to retreat. And now it's three v two. OG is taken out again. And we're pretty much just looking pretty bad at this point. We're kind of, kind of embarrassed ourselves, really. We didn't really play this one too good, and it is pretty important because it's the fifth set of a pretty intense series. And yeah, we're pretty much like a, a slaughter at this point. We can't really do anything. Oh, we just go behind for the pinch. It almost works. OG almost gets the kill, but Pogo doesn't have quite enough DPS, and we take the loss on this one. And this is like another chance, and we'll hop into the next game right away. Alright, so up in the next game, we decided to go with the standard meta that they ran. They switched it up with B. I think they maybe thought we were going to try it again. We just played it wrong. But we decided to go with the meta comp because we felt like we kind of we played really bad. And I'm on the tick. I don't normally play tick, but I'm kind of playing it a lot more with my new team. That's kind of what happens when you switch it to a new team. You got to make some little changes in your brawler pool. Everyone kind of has their own brawler pool. And Bobby and OG, they both love Brock. I mean, they both love Brock and Bobby loves Jeans, so... 
that leaves me on the tick, I guess. It's fine, though. I don't really mind what do I play as long as we win, you know? Everyone needs a team player. Bobby does just pull on Zulon right there, and I'm kind of clapping my lane, but nothing really can do. I hard counter them, and they're all kind of backed up and spawn. And once you're kind of backed up on this map, you're pretty much pretty much chalked at that point. And I'm just kind of throwing shots over the wall, and he's trapped right there. They're all kind of, we're just kind of, kind of trying to corral them over into the corner. So then Bobby and OG got the splash on their shots, they can hit more than one target. And slowly but surely, we're just kind of grouping them all together. OG does have a super, so if they all three group up, OG can get a massive value on a super. And they all three group up, as you can see here, OG supers, and he gets it back right away, I think. Yeah, he gets it back, we get the kill on so right there. And we still got control, OG supers again. We got two kills now, we're up 5 nothing. we still got control. And they do switch lanes, thinking that Brock can do better than B on tick, which he definitely can. But once you already have control of Tick, it's hard to take it away. He does jump over that one shot and supers. He doesn't make a play, but I turned to my Tick head there to just take some shots because I thought I was going to go down for there for a second. But I think I overreacted. But my teammates made some plays. They got some kills, so still up by a lot. And they did break on my walls, so I can't go up too high on the rock. But I still got control and we're up 9 nothing. So as long as we don't, all three don't go down with one of the game. Me and OG both make a smart play and go back, and uh, yeah, we do end up winning this game, and we play one more game to play that determines the entire winner of the series. Pretty close cool series by everybody, and uh, yeah, let's just jump on into it. All right, so hopping into the final game of this massive 15 game series. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. I did play a lot of fun playing, and we decided with the same comp, they decided to switch to Poco Double Tank. So it was pretty much just like a reverse of what happened in the first game. You get a nice kill on Sire like that. And looking pretty good because once you get control against triple tank, you're getting close to your supers. Once you just break everything, it'll look about better for us. OG is trying to charge up the super little by little. He gets a super, so he breaks all the walls and the grass. And once this open map, we'll pretty much win. Unless they get like a team wipe on us or something. But as long as you just play smart, it won't really happen. Bobby has pull, he pulls the Poco. I believe we almost take him out. We don't take him out. They got too much health. And I think we do kind of get pinched right here. But it's not the end of the world, because Bobby and OG are still up. We get, they got pull. We're only tied on stars, so. Bobby gets a nice pull on the Poco right there, and we are up. They're kind of in a bad spot. OG tries to jump away. Bobby goes down. They all three go down. So this is one tick versus Poco to tank. So I'm not going to have enough DPS. I throw my tick head down just to get them away from me. And I have my three stars, but if you look at the map, there's not many walls left. So it's not the end of the world for us. And Bobby's really good gene. He gets a nice pull on Core Rai like that. And against this comp, like pulling Poco is the obviously the safe bet. If you pull a, a Daryl or a BB, sometimes you can get, it can bite you. And we're just kind of, Bobby gets a nice pull on Superstar right there. And with the Brock next to him, the auto aim pull and the auto aim Brock, take him out pretty quickly. And I do have control on the Poco right there. I don't know why Poco is all alone. Poco should definitely be with his team. And there's only 30 seconds left, so as long as we don't go down, we should win. I do kind of go for me, but I have my gadget, I roll away. I think we do, don't kill Sire right there, so we're down, but OG gets a kill on Zulon. I think it's kind of a throw by him. And uh, yeah, I think Bobby does get the pull on Sai here shortly, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he gets the pull, and just one Poco, can't really do anything, just kind of throw everything we have on that side. That's a good room, and uh, yeah, we did pick up the win in the series. And uh, yeah, it was the second tournament with my new team, Temple Storm, Bob, and OG. It's a pretty OP, pretty OP org. I'm really excited for the future, for sure. And this was the matchup between the number one and two in NA and points for the Brawl Stars Championship. I think we're at like 150, they're at 90. They do have the July finals, we don't. So it's looking pretty good for us. We just got to keep clutching up. And uh, yeah, really high hopes for the rest of 2020. Hope you guys are all staying safe. And uh, hope you enjoyed. I've been streaming on Twitch every single night. I don't been posting that many YouTube videos. I do stream on Twitch every night. So check me out on there if you want. It's above my name, above my head, I think. And uh, yeah, peace out guys.